I lost 50 pounds. Woo! 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 And you guys will never believe how I did it through one major exercise. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably know what that is. Squatty? No. Running? Not really. Lifting weights? No. I lost 50 pounds, you guys, through the lovely, beautiful, peaceful, enjoying exercise of walking. So when I ended my pregnancy with my baby boy here, Butters, that's what I like to call him, I weighed 220 pounds. Yes. And now I am down to 170, you guys. So that's 50 pounds. So that brought me back down actually five pounds lower than my pre-pregnancy weight. So wait, I kind of lied because I'm realizing right now as my memory is going back at the beginning of this year, I was doing a lot on the elliptical. That was like my warm up and how I started to get back in like heart healthy shape, even though that didn't actually make me lose like weight weight but it got my heart pumping better but before the beginning of this year i was doing a lot of walking only just making sure i was getting my steps in so that leaves us to where we are today where i'm taking more steps than i ever took before if you guys didn't know i used to have a 10,000 steps a day walking challenge where i challenged myself and some of you guys on instagram and facebook to walk 10,000 steps with me each day i started that back up about mm, a month and a half ago and I realized, wow, 10,000 steps is so easy for me. I need to push that up. So I pushed up now to 20,000 steps. I've been doing this for the past couple of weeks and it has been challenging. I've been averaging about four times out of the whole week, actually doing my 20,000 steps a day, but it's been challenging, very hard, but very rewarding on my figure so i woke up every morning i was doing this elliptical machine every single day i never stopped doing it and i also um was doing walking it just depended on how i felt when i got there elliptical or walking so i did that straight you guys for about 60 70 days all in a row and then we left to go to Korea, which those videos are coming up soon. And I totally skimped out on my exercise and everything when I went to Korea. And I came back to the United States and I was literally like eight pounds heavier. So from since then, the only exercise I've been doing is walking. So where I'm at now is I'm doing 20,000 steps a day, or I'm trying to. I honestly am not making it every single day, but I'm trying my hardest to do it. Um, at least four days a week. The other couple of days a week, I started enrolling in a bar class. I don't know if you guys said this, like kind of like ballet, Pilates class. And I've noticed, I've only been doing it for two weeks, you guys. But the difference in my figure, and my like, not even my figure, forget that. My posture is different. Even Joe said I look like I was standing different today and I've only gone about four or five, four times to the bar class. But basically you do a lot of like, <laughs> a lot of like these type of movements where you're like going like up a little down a little up a little down a little up a little down a little bend a little out a little <laughs> and that's really good for me because i realized once i went to that class the first time this is why they got me to sign up that my ab muscles are completely destroyed after having eight kids and i used to be really strong you guys i used to be so physically strong and just going to my first bar class, it just kicked my butt. And I realized, wow, I am not even half of the strength, not even a quarter of the strength that I used to be, like right after I have Arizona. I remember I had these pictures, I was really strong. So I started to do bar class again, and so hopefully that will help some of this tummy pooch. If you see like my stomach, you see why it's like this? See how it's like that? See, Audi, Audi, Audi. We're trying to get it to be an any, any, any. Audi. I mean, I like my stomach after having eight kids. I think it's cute, but um, I don't like that it's not strong and that I can't do sit-ups properly. <laughs> and so um, that is what I'm working on next, toning. So I still probably have at least another 25, 30 pounds to lose, I think. So I'm hoping I can hit that goal 
sometime by the end of this year. You can quote me on that. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. So I still have another 25 to 30 pounds to lose. Um, I'm hoping to get that somewhere during the end of this year, but I just felt like that 50 pounds, that just melted off of me, Joe. It just melted off. All I did was just walk, and it just slid off my body. It just slid right into the sidewalk, right into all those trails that I was walking. It just slid off. And I was like, that's so good for me. And you guys, walking is like so mentally such a great thing to clear your mind, especially if you're not even listening to anything. You just walk, listen, look. It's so good so good so good and a lot of times i put on my christian music and stuff like that and it gets me in the mood but another thing that has tremendously helped me with my walking and walking more this summer now that the kids are out of school is giving them something to do all day <laughs> so they have been signed up for camps they have been going to vbs vacation bible school they love that and now that we've done a little camp thing that is over. I have like little activities that I'm doing with them in the house. So I've set up like art shop where I just go to Target and I just buy a whole bunch of art stuff and just let them do that the whole morning. And that gives me a break to be able to get my walk in. Another thing, when I went to my bar class, I realized that I really had been not prioritizing myself over everybody else in my life. Okay, so I still want to give my kids and my husband such a good life. Let's just put it that way. And so I had to find little ways to have them occupy where I can still get the things that I want to get done accomplished. Another thing that we've been doing since this summertime is we've been going to the beach a lot. So I might buy them a whole bunch of beach toys, send them out to the beach, tire them out, things like that. Another thing is that my little, little ones have been interested and in really loving this summer is noggin our sponsor for today's video we've got a little backyard circle going on right now we got a couple on the swings one is on the noggin app another one's jumping on the trampoline i like to rotate them throughout the backyard on these really fun games noggin is a app for your little ones it has videos on there educational games it has read-along books it is a learning app for kids age two to seven and naturally as the mathematician I am I love the math category on here which helps preschoolers with number sense counting patterns and matching Do you guys like Peppa Pig or Marshall this one mighty milkshakes game yeah. it's easy to download whatever game that you want to play and it has your child's favorite characters on it like Paw Patrol Peppa Pig baby shark Ajui and Ajayu have actually kind of been arguing over the app who gets to use it first but that's why I love it because they are learning number six through playing and they don't even realize it what's your favorite part of the app all of the things you guys heard to say it first all of the things as I was reviewing and looking at the app myself I could tell that it was designed by education experts everything is just learning focus and fun at the same time it's step by step they give you directions and it's very interactive for the child and easy for them to follow those steps. It's ad free and safe, has over 2000 plus educational games, videos, and even educational books, which is another one of my favorites on the app. So you can download the app today and you will get a 60 day free trial that ends on July 9th. Thank you again to Noggin for sponsoring today's video. The last thing that I have been doing to keep this weight off is meal prepping and when I say that I take that very lightly because I just started meal prepping at the beginning of this week but I recognize that I wasn't going to lose any more weight than I've lost now since I've been about the same weight for about two months now if I didn't start meal planning so this week I really started meal planning and it took me a whole hour long <laughs> no not an hour a whole day <laughs> a whole day long of my time and then I realized I'm not prioritizing myself because it takes me a whole day to cook my food I, I haven't been setting time for that other thing is to try to stay as positive as I can and try to minimize stress as much as possible so I don't have my stress when I'm going out. You know what I'm saying? That's why I love walking because it's not a high intensity exercise. So right now I'm doing walking my 20,000 steps a day 
and I'm doing the bar class and that's what I have right now those are my main things and hopefully you know those help me really achieve my weight loss and my health goals and my lower my stress goals and my take care of my family goals and take care of my husband goals and take care of my business goals and create another business goal and make a group of women who come to my house for bible study goals and have a praise worship goals and all those goals that I want to do now today we're gonna to do something I absolutely love doing and the whole reason why we moved to California is beach day who's ready okay Kylie and I are about to go on our run how was your meet Ooh, yesterday you guys good yeah yeah what did you run 800 what was your time 239. Not bad, sweetie. You gotta break my time. I ran a two. I ran a two second. It's just yeah, just break it. So Kylie and I got vapor flies, the runner shoe. So Yours looks so weird because mine are like <laughs> we got a runner shoe. Is this the best runner shoe ever? Can I get some? No, you don't run. I'm hey, my shoe. Yeah, yeah, I got on my um winter oh, wow. jammy. Good. Where's Appa? Appa's all the way over there. All right, so Elena went that way. We're going this way to the playground and just hang out a little bit. All right, so I mean, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of time to just write in my journal. I'm gonna do three miles. Okay. Run, walk, maybe. Meaning that I'm gonna be running and walking, not just running. And me. And the kids are gonna be behind us, doing whatever they're doing in front of us. Run three miles at 10 minute pace. Run three miles at 10 minutes. I can't do 10 minute pace, Eleven. unfortunately, I don't think. 30. Hey Siri, open an outdoor ride. Three, two, one. Come on. What's our pace? Oh, not 10 minutes. But it's 9.30. Daddy said this will warm my pace. Wait. No, I can keep up. Oh, it's like a long walk. That was two minutes. Okay, 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 okay. Ready, ready. <laughs> hey guys, I feel fine. I feel great. Three miles doing this, perfect. Almost at one mile, guys. No, I feel like I'm running next to the beach. Hi. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Woo. You're running out of this new sprinting mode. Nah, I already checked it out. Heart race on that 163. I could have kept going. Okay. Set. Go. <laughs> Wait, still taking a breath. That wasn't the same amount of distance. I guess she's. Oh, there they are. Hey, you guys still going? Yeah, we're gonna be three miles. Okay, I, I'm at one point two. Okay, we're gonna finish the three miles. At our own pace then. Are we ready? I'm ready. Huh? Almost. Alright, let's go. Come on. Own pace. Is this your pace? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't go, go, go. Okay, I'm out here in beautiful Oceanside. I just finished my three mile mainly running. And jogging with Kylie. I beat my time yesterday by 30 seconds. So that's really cool. Uh, Kylie ran with me. Thank you, Kylie. You're welcome. Job of Kylie. And let's find out what in the world. Abba, you trying to do pull ups? Yeah, I was just talking to that man. He was out here like the entire time working. He did like 115 pull ups just now. Nice, nice. Let me try. Let me All right, Joe, catch up. Hey. 
<laughs> it, feel, it just feels nice to hang. <laughs> Go ahead, y'all try. No! You can do it. No! I can't even do one! Ooh! I can't even can do, do another one! Hit another one! One set of one. Mommy, look, I can't try to do a pull up. Mommy, help! Go down, now pull yourself up. Up, up, up! Get it! Yes! Got it. Good job, you guys. You little jungle gymnasium. Look Wee! at that. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Woo. Hey, Woo. Good. Oh, backwards. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. What you doing, Butters? You hungry? He's hungry, but he's distracted. Buddy, you hungry? <laughs> yeah, are you hungry? I ran you like ran at a minimum. How long? Like, like some seven. Like, girl, that's track me. Huh? You gonna get on the track me? That's uh, good. How how long? Not anymore. I can't do it anymore. This way, you it was like seven forty-five. Joe said yesterday that he could do an eight minute mile. So go do it. I just did it 10 minutes with a Kylie. Kai -kai. 9.30. 9.30? So you can do eight minutes. That's nothing yeah. for you, Joe. That's chilling. To, to the where? To right before you get to the one a sign that says dead end. It's literally not far at all. I'll think about it. You want me to? It's four minutes down and four minutes back. I'll try for a 6.10 mile. 6.10? Okay, Kylie's gonna go for a 6.10. 6.30? Six Six okay. You can do eight minutes. You can do it, Joe. I'm positive. You can be comfortable and run eight miles too. I was comfortable and I ran you three miles. Shoes. We should switch. You want to wear my shoes? What size are they? Ten. We all wear same size shoes. Yeah. Okay. What? Or men and men. It's you want to do head to head? Shoe. No warm up or anything. I would like to sip a coffee though. That's fine. You don't need to warm up to do. Yeah. You don't need to warm up. You warmed up. No. Uh, no, eight no, minute no. mile is the warm up. I'm just saying. I right? Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing you could do possibly to warm up for an eight minute run more than you've already done. Okay. I mean. All right, well, let me, let me, um. You convinced me. I'm scared now. Why? I haven't run a mile since. You got it. You since since seventh grade time. <laughs> got to take off my vape applies and get me home. Joe gearing up for the race. Oh yeah, this is cheating. That, those aren't the cheating ones. These are the second generation ones and they're allowed to wear them. Okay, so Kylie, you said you're trying to run a what? 6.30, have you ran that before? Nope. Go out hard, finish hard. What, what does that eight minute pace look like? Well, what does She'll that look you. like in terms She'll of- I'm gonna like, like run this. <laughs> Remember you said you could do it, right? Yeah. Okay. I just, I'm saying like eight minutes Okay, it's like, an eight minute okay. pace. That's eight minute pace? Yeah. That's eight minute pace? Yes. That's, eight, that's kind of fast. <laughs> what was it? 8.25. That look, I mean, it looks faster. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm actually faster. Okay. This is my PR. If I, if I beat 632, then I can PR. So I can use a PR. Ready? Three, Three, two, one, go! <laughs> God, what are you doing? I couldn't. Go! What happened? You got too tired? Yeah. Well, I didn't get tired you a can. lot. I just want to walk back around my scooter and zoom back over with them. Wait, don't go that fast! Okay, we're waiting for the runners to PR. Let's see. I don't know how long it's been. Probably I should have started my watch. It's probably been about three minutes. coming through right now. Let's go Kai Kai. So how you feeling after that mile run? Wow, she's faster than the cameraman. Man, girl. I thought Ma was the stop sign. Good. I'm saying why did why did Alka stop? You're gonna walk at least people. Like literally, if you're gonna walk, at least we walk. Yep. A Kylie Pace. All boats are gonna have to be out of the at 515 pace. At what? 
515. I don't know what that means. It means like, further than face will show you the 515 mile. That means it's like, oh. And I told him, he's like, you just went up more. But I was showing the same pace. Okay, it's been like literally another 10 minutes and I couldn't find Joe, so I started walking. Yeah, so what's going on? What's going on? He's walking. He's tired. What's going on, Joe? My chest started to hurt <clears throat> after about 0.3 of a mile, so I couldn't keep up my you pace. Keep up? No. After how many minutes have you been since he's tired? Are you okay? Yeah, I mean, physically, my muscles aren't tired, but like <laughs> my chest hurts. Oh! I see. Me too. My chest hurts when I'm bit. running. My chest hurts yeah. a lot. There's a coyote coming back. Cool down. This is her cool down. Don't stop. She's probably wondering what's going on, right? Are we wondering what's going on? Hey, what did you do? I watch died. Oh, man. I just took the video because she started it. Oh, yeah. I was going to stop it. Yeah, yeah. But I thought that you were the stop. I know. I walked line. up. So you started running faster? Yeah. Good. But that that means you ran faster as at the three. I know. I know you thought right, you could. <laughs> yeah, I was running at like a what 515 pace, and then I just couldn't keep it up. I didn't know how fast I was going. It felt like about Dang, the pace sucks. I would usually run at. You got 640. Yeah. 640. Yeah. Good, Kylie. No. You were trying to get 6:30. Six minutes in yeah. an hour. 6:40. That's good. You just couldn't keep. You're, you're, you're. No, like I didn't know exactly what my pace was, but it felt good to my body. But after about 0.3 of a mile, I just felt my heart. You were like not my, sprinting. Huh? I no, no. To, like, that tell was you. sprinting. The final question is: Can you or can you not run an eight-minute mile? We're not even done yet. I know we're not done. I told you that you weren't going to be able to do it. Okay, so we are still not yet finished. We're almost finished. We're almost at the stop sign for the mile. And Joe says he can still run in eight minutes, but he just couldn't do it today. We'll try it again in a couple of days. You want to try it again in a couple of days? Yeah, on my own time. I'm not, I don't want you to just lift me out of nowhere and be like, hey, run. run no, I mean, I but. I know but, I can, but I'm saying like, I don't know about right now. You can do it on your own time. Yeah. But you can't work out first. You can't like prep yourself by working no. out every single day. Right. The this thing is, is that I haven't ran a pace like, because I don't know what that pace is. So. Your watch tells you what pace you're running at. I know that, but I so never had a watch before that told me how, what my pace was or what my heart rate was and all that stuff. Ma, can I run I'm just saying like, I would run it and be like, oh, it was this time. All right, kiddos. Oh, we are oh. done the race. That's the pole. <laughs> Who won? Who won? Oh. You won. Who else won? You won? Erza won? Everyone won. Maya, baby. Ajidai. Appa. Uh, Kylie. Still watching herself run? Yeah. All right, we just got out of the thrift store. So We're going to do a thrift store haul. Maya, show them what you got. Got the shirt. Yes. Probably bad decision. I'm probably... But yeah, I got the shirt. How much? How much? Two ninety five. Wow. What else? These jeans. Cute. Humongous. Those look humongous. They are. What it's size is it? Amazing. They? I don't know. Thirty six or something. They're Levi's. Yep. They're but look very how much fancy. you pay for these. Eighteen ninety five from. Mm. It's fine. I only buy like one pair of anything for the whole year anyway. Okay. Show us what you got, Kai Kai. Yeah, I got all those stuff, but I got. It for the cheapest price out of everybody. I got a U.S. Marine Corps shirt. Oh. Mm -hmm. With the sweats. I got Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> um, pajama pants. Wow. And then I got like a shirt with like an American oh, flag. Oh, like American. Surfboard. Oh, Captain America, American flag, mm -hmm. surfboard thing. Cute. <laughs> How much did that run you? Ten bucks. Wow. I got socks. But they were... Cheaper, so well, it was like $4. Yep, all right. Azayo. Mushroom shirt. Oh, so cute. How much was that? This, I think it was like three bucks. Three bucks, okay. Black panel. <gasps> Ooh, nice. Nice deal. How much was that one? Like, like four. Four. See, we're thrifting. All right, so we are eating at this place called Gonzo. It looks like it's like a Japanese ramen shop. There we go. Go ahead and pray. Um, Baby Rock Wednesday. And let us uh, thank you for letting us have this food and for letting us come here. And you never forget it. Mm -hmm. 
Mmm, yummy. Super good. Yes. Kylie got the cocktail. Most of the kids got the cocktail. I got the ramen. All right, here. Oh, you can play the Butters, what are you doing? What are you doing with that time? Butters, what is that little mouth doing? All right, please. You want some of Appa's food? I'm about to jump into that. So now we're just out sitting, just watching the kids play. We're just relaxing at this point. I realize that, you know, I am not in the best shape uh, right now. It's been a while since I've done a lot of like aerobic type of activity. I still feel like I have decent speed, but flexibility and like endurance, mm, I need to work on that. All right, so Arizona is doing some fitness activities at this point. Run over here, hand it to her, tag her, run back. Are you the PE teacher for today? No, but I'm telling you how to do it. <laughs> okay, I, I, I get it. Basically, you got to do a suicide. A suicide? How do you explain what a suicide is other than like a drill to children? Not cool. All right, guys. The first, the first thing that we're gonna do, let's do a crawling competition. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But, but your knees have to be on the ground. Okay. okay? No, so far, no. really far. Really? All right, here we go. go. Oh, Mashley's in the lead. Here comes Ajui and Arizo. Oh, Mashley's in the lead. And it's Amashley and even hold on and Erzo and Ajui. No, Ajui ran. Yeah. He did this. I, I saw him get up. I saw him get up. I saw him get up. This time we're gonna do this. We're gonna hold put on. one foot in front of the other like this. Okay. <laughs> oh, too many cheaters. No way. No, I saw you guys. Ajui, Ajui's doing okay. It's close. It's between a P-way and. Arizo. I'm winning! <laughs> All you gotta do is touch my hand. And there goes the sun. So this is something that we used to do in Taekwondo. It's called taksam. Taksam means chicken fighting. So what we do is we put our legs up like this. We have two hands like this, okay? With with your legs yeah. and your body. Okay, ready? Yeah! So, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do one on one. You one on fail. one, okay? Ready? You gotta push me down. Get Ready, set, go. Push me down. Try to knock her over. Whoa! There you go. Good job. <laughs> oh, oh, this is competitive. Oh, oh. I win! Who's that win? We are done! Whoa. I don't know. Ready, set, go. 
<laughs> okay, it's just these two now. Oh. <laughs>